You're probably familiar with the EPA, or the Environmental Protection Agency. Recently, the way the EPA has been writing rules has changed dramatically, with some extensive costs and consequences for our country. Let's look at three examples of the long arm of the EPA. First, there's the EPA's new definition of the waters of the United States, often called WOTUS. Here, the agency was asked to clarify some nitty-gritty details of WOTUS by outlining exactly which waterways fall to a state's authority versus the federal government's authority. Instead, the EPA rewrote the rule, drastically expanding federal authority. Let's take Kansas, for example. The EPA's rule change is expected to increase the share of Kansas waters under the federal authority by a staggering 400%. Sorry, Kansas, you're not in charge anymore. Now let's look at the costs. Industries across the board will see an increase of $158 to $465 million in permitting costs. Who needs these permits? A lot more people now. For a second example, let's discuss the new Clean Power Plan rule. It establishes a unique target for a reduced carbon emissions rate for each state. Okay, what's the cost? The rule could cost consumers and businesses $41 billion or more. That's per year. That's twice the size of Connecticut's annual state budget. So what do we get in return? Studies have shown that the rule will have, at best, a negligible impact on air quality and global temperatures. So small researchers say they can't even put it into context. For a third example, let's look at the EPA's ozone rule. Expected to come out in October of 2015, this rule mandates a more stringent ground-level ozone standard and is expected to be the most expensive rule issued by the U.S. government, ever. Lowering the ozone standard to 65 parts per billion, as is being discussed, could cost households an additional $830 each year. Again, each and every household. How will it impact, say for instance, the desert state of Nevada? A reduction in the ozone standard is expected to cost Nevada 11,200 jobs each year. Nevada's hardly alone. Nationwide, the ozone standard could result in more than a million fewer jobs every year through 2040. In other words, the EPA's long arm is handing out pink slips. These are just three examples of EPA rules extending their reach in 2015. What can you do about the rising costs? Tell Congress to pass the Regulatory Accountability Act, requiring federal agencies like the EPA to consider alternatives that achieve the same objective at a lower cost. Only then will we start to rein in this long arm of the EPA.